Okay, so in class we've been looking at the pH of weak acid and weak base solutions where the thing that's acidic or basic is actually an acid or a base. But again, according to bronsted lorry proton donors and acceptors are acids and bases. So as it turns out, there are more things that are acidic and basic than just those things that are labeled acids and base. So for example, in this picture you have washing soda washing soda is actually sodium carbonate. When I dissolve sodium carbonate in water, that solution is basic. Okay. However, we don't see your typical acid or base sitting in sodium carbonate. So what happens when this dissolves? Obviously, the first thing that happens is I get sodium ions and I get carbonate ions. And what happens is the carbonate ions interact with water and set up an equilibrium system where I have hydrogen carbonate and hydroxide. Since I have hydroxide as a product, that solution is basic. And that's what this picture up here is trying to show you. So there are many positive and negative ions that are acidic or basic. Um, and these ions, this would be a salt solution. Remember, if we dissolve an ionic compound in water, we have a salt solution because a, a soluble ionic compound is referred to as a salt. So this is a chart we looked at way back at the beginning of the year. So when we're looking at whether or not a, a trying and trying to decide whether a solution is acidic, basic, or neutral, we look at the ions that are present in solution. So there are only a few ions that are neutral and they come from the strong bases and the strong acids. So let's look at the cations first. Our six strong bases, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, barium hydroxide, strontium hydroxide. The positive ions associated with these six strong bases, sodium, potassium, lithium, calcium, barium, and strontium are all neutral in solution. They do not affect the pH of a solution. Because this is a strong base, the conjugate at base of a strong the conjugate acid of a strong base is very weak. So it does not change the pH. So <clears throat> if we have other positive ions in solution, they form acidic solutions. So my soluble hydroxides, those, po those six positive ions are neutral in solution. Any other cation is acidic. Any other cation is acidic. Now, <clears throat> When we look at negative ions or anions, we have our six strong bases, HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, HClO4, and then we have H2SO4, which is really a separate example because it is polyprotic. But each of these, the conjugate base, which would be your anion, oops, that would be I minus, and that would be NO3 minus, and ClO4 minus, those ions are neutral. So then pretty much every other anion is basic with two exceptions. And the two exceptions are the conjugate bases of polyprotic acids. So H2SO4, strong acid, its conjugate base is HSO4, but that is also acidic. Likewise, the conjugate acid <coughs> of <coughs> the conjugate base of phosphoric acid, excuse me, is H2PO4 minus, but that in turn is also acidic. So other than these two exceptions, all anions are basic. So 
I look at my anion and my cation. Is it associated with a strong base or a strong acid? If it is, then it's neutral. If not, it's either acidic if it's a cation or basic if it's an anion. With just two exceptions, those rules apply. So, let's look at this question. I want to predict whether each of these would be acidic, basic, or neutral and prove with appropriate equations. So, with A, sodium would be the positive ion, acetate would be the negative ion. That would be from a strong base, so this is neutral because the base that's associated with that is sodium hydroxide. The acid associated with this ion is acetic acid, which is weak. So that means acetate is basic. So the entire solution would be basic. So if I were to write an equation for that, I would show a hydrolysis reaction of acetate and water. I would get this acid and hydroxide. So that solution is basic because I have OH minus ions. Ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate, the positive ion is ammonium. The negative ion is nitrate. Ammonium is the conjugate acid of ammonia. Ammonia is a weak base so ammonium is acidic. Nitrate is the conjugate <coughs> base of the strong acid nitric acid, so nitrate comes from nitric acid, so nitrate itself is neutral. So the equation I would get for this one would be NH4 plus plus water, again hydrolysis reaction, I would get ammonia and I would get H3O plus. Since I have H3O plus over here, that's positive, that solution would be acidic. Now when I look at this last one, you won't actually have to write hydrolysis reactions for these, but I wanted to show you that the whole concept of proton transfer works no matter how complex an ion you're looking at. So I look at that, aluminum sulfate, aluminum, 3 plus, and then SO4, 2 minus. So aluminum would be acidic. Sulfate is actually slightly basic. However, <coughs> aluminum is a stronger acid then sulfate is a base. So this acid, the aluminum as an acid, aluminum ion as an acid, is stronger than sulfate ion as a base. So this solution is going to be acidic. And if we just kind of follow our general rule of thumb, sulfate is associated with uh, sulfuric acid. Since sulfuric acid is a strong acid, we would predict that sulfate ion would be a pretty weak base, and it is. But when we go to write the, the equation, the hydrolysis reaction for aluminum ion, we have to look at how it exists in water, just as we write hydronium instead of H+. So in solution, when I put aluminum ions in water, I actually get this complex ion, where six water molecules surround each aluminum ion. So now when that interacts with water, it's acidic, so one of the products has to be H3O+, making it acidic. The other product, I have to take one hydrogen away from one of the waters in here. So what I end up with is the aluminum ion with five water molecules, because I only needed one hydrogen, and I have one hydroxide formed because that one H went over to H3O plus. Since this is plus three, aluminum's plus three, hydroxide is minus one, that total charge is plus two. But 
yeah, as you can see, we can use these general rules of what's weak, what's strong to predict the acid-base properties of salt solutions.